Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of cloud computing. Today's topic is characteristics of cloud computing. Let us begin. You know what is cloud computing? Now let us discuss the characteristics one by one. First and very important characteristic is on demand self service. Here you can observe there are two terms. One is on demand and other is self service it means cloud computing services it does not require you can say any human administrator here clients themselves they are able to monitor and manage the computing resources depending upon the requirement that is you can say cloud computing delivers on demand service you you must be very much clear about this particular term at the same time you can also say that cloud computing works on a self service model it means end users or clients they are capable to make better decisions about how to use and how much computing cloud computing services is being required second is rapid elasticity and scalability elasticity and scalability means see there are it resources which are available on the cloud and these resources have been provided to the clients depending upon the requirement as much as they are going to uh, use that and depending upon the usage the clients have to pay so computing services can be scaled up and scaled down depending upon the requirement if required more it resources can be utilized by client if required less it resources means that is what the very interesting property and accordingly they have to pay it means whenever client require services the services will be provided to the client and it will be scaled out as soon as the requirement gets over third property is the multi tenancy multi tenancy you can understand means uh, it can be defined as a software architecture and that software architecture enables single program instance to provide services to the multiple end users right it means this feature enable the usage of same client same computing resources by multiple customers multiple customers multiple clients are using same computing resources even though they are sharing same computing resources still in that particular situation also the cloud customers data is kept completely separate and safe so multiple customers are using same computing resources that is what the multi tenancy is data security data is secure in the case of the clouds right means cloud computing helps to protect the data and how the data is being protected even then if there is any like a uh, server gets down or due to some accident some of the data is being lost how to like intact that particular data so cloud computing services make a backup copy of the saved data so in case if one of the server loses the data due to some accident or something so the copied version from the other server that can be used to recover the data and this capability is very very important it makes very appealing to use the cloud availability cloud services are available 24 into 7 duration cloud computing services are highly robust services even these services can be accessed from any geographical location and that is you can say they remain available most of the time in case if cloud resource faces some downtime even then the system recovers and starts within no time means while the cloud service makes a recovery information which is stored in servers networks and database that remains to be secured means the information can be secured and information is being available also resilience resilience means to recover from something so resilience in cloud computing means ability of the service to quickly recover from any kind of disruption 
in case if any uh, disruption happens over there, even then the services can be quickly recovered. So cloud resilience, uh, it can be measured, means how fast, how quickly the servers, database and network system restarts and they recover from any kind of damage. It means, or you can say the cloud service provider also develops nowadays some of the strategies which may boost disaster management. Means data can be recovered very effectively, very quickly. Resource pooling. Resource pooling means there are some of the resources which have been shared among uh, multiple clients. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, you are aware with the carpooling means same car is being shared with the multiple users. Here, resource pooling means cloud service provider can share resources among multiple clients. And each and every client will be provided with different set of services depending upon the requirement. So it is a kind of what multi-client strategy. Multi-client strategy which can be applied to data storage service, processing services, bandwidth provided services and with resource pooling because resources have been uh, shared so organizations can reduce substantial computing cost also. Next one is broad network access. Broad network access means the computing services are generally provided over standard networks and heterogeneous devices. And a big part of the cloud characteristic, its characteristic is what? Omnipresence. It is present everywhere. It can be accessed from everywhere. It means client can access the cloud data or they can transfer the data to the cloud from any place. Just they must have a device and the internet connection. See how much interesting this is. Easy maintenance. Here nothing is to be, means maintenance is uh, not bothered by the clients. Means client is never involved in maintenance kind of related services. Maintenance, this is totally managed by the cloud service provider. And maintenance services are uh, so well planned. Means even if there is a requirement to maintain anything or such kind of uh, services is being uh, like happening in place. So it is being planned in such a manner that the downtime remains significantly low, very, very low. It is not going to impact the overall services. Moreover, cloud undergoes regular updates which helps in capability optimization. Regular up updates happen over there. Measured and reporting service. Measured means you can monitor, control and optimize how much cloud resources you are using. Means this feature is what the measured services. And there is a metering capability also. Metering means as you can see your own meter and that meter is placed somewhere so you can regularly see what is the like uh, current uh, reading over there. So metering capability in case of cloud that is placed at some level of the abstraction of application service and metering feature that gives transparency transparency for what what is being used about the resources and transparency will be for both the service provider and to the clients also it means it will be helpful in monitoring billing and ensuring the optimum usage of resources next characteristic is automation automation makes everything faster means Automation in cloud computing that facilitates faster expansion of cloud services. With the help of automation, IT team and developers, they maintain and modify cloud services. When cloud service or the you can say cloud infrastructure is in place, then it ensures minimum interaction from humans. Means all the configurations have been installed and they ensure that services have been provided very efficiently. Flexibility. See, the services in cloud computing, they are very, very flexible. Means services can be altered depending upon the organization requirement, depending upon the company's business requirement, services can be 
alter means they are very flexible and the best thing about the cloud is you have to charge you have to pay only for what you have consumed there is one more benefit means here resources and file sharing can be done in a real time environment means from any place in the world from any geographical location so employees can access files using web enabled devices web enabled devices like smartphones laptops notebooks and nowadays many employers are now implementing bring your own device bring your own device b y o d and this enables the use of mobile technology also next is work from any location see remote working is one of the prime and very uh, prominent feature of cloud computing it, it enables users to work remotely users can work from any location users will have a complete access of the data complete access of the services via mobile via laptops smartphones and it also ensures that every user can be connected quickly even employees who are working remotely they can communicate with each other they can share their data very effectively very quickly cost effective cost effective this is a key aspect of cloud computing see there are many big organizations large enterprises who are capable to save a substantial amount substantial amount on it related expenditure means there is no need to set up to invest uh, to buy the hardware softwares everything means you need to pay a small fee to the third party provider which is cloud service provider just to ensure that cloud space is adequately administered and maintained and this also helps in boosting security in exchange of a nominal cost itself and the last property last characteristic is comfortable payment structure cloud computing offers flexible payment structure means flex uh, pricing varies depending upon the features and functionalities or resources which have been chosen and used by the customers or clients it means users find the payment options which are very very simple even it allows them to save their time while making payments regularly they used to get updates they used to get reminders so provides very comfortable payment structure and helps organizations to reduce their time and cost so these are all the properties or you can say the characteristics of the cloud computing this is what i have discussed in detail you can take a note of all this so i hope now you will be able to define all the characteristics of cloud computing nicely thank you so much for watching this video